perhaps correct to say that is a wild accusation because General Sergio Sajimbusero is a part of the forces that uh, liberated Uganda from an act, an act of behavior and conduct into a law abiding society guided by the constitution, by the laws and procedures that are laid down according to the people's will. And therefore, for him to uh, make those allegations as an individual, he ought to know that the government in which he has been serving and which he still serves, because there is no education or legal uh, education that has been uh, uh, expelled or he has left it, he knows in Uganda we have worked as a collective, we work as a collective, and shall work as a collective effort. But isn't it a fact, isn't, isn't, uh, uh, isn't it a fact, though, that President Museveni's wife and his son occupy very high positions in Uganda, and President Museveni himself has been in power for 26 years, or more than that. President Museveni has been in power for 27 years or more than that, and he, there's no country uh, that is uh, ruled by one person and it is a monarchy. And Uganda is not only a republic, but a democratic republic where everybody is entitled to any office, including the highest office. So if his wife or his son are part of the collective effort in Uganda to take it forward, nobody can accuse one individual called the president of hijacking the process because all the processes are done and led by the law. So what do you make then of the statement by General Sejusa that all options are open to unseat President Yoweri Museveni? That is his only choice because, as I said, in a democracy like we are in Uganda, everybody is free to, to use whatever means he wants to use to, 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 to attain, attain the power, but only one method is allowed the method that is constitutional. So if he chooses to take an unconstitutional means, Article 3, which I had him quoting, would definitely apply against him because all uh, law-abiding Ugandans would definitely resist anybody, including the General Sejusa, if he attempts to go against the Constitution because we are all led by this Constitution and if the Constitution came as a result of collective effort. Is the government right, concerned? Is, so is the government concerned? Is the government concerned? Is the government uh, scared at all uh, when such a statement comes from, from a general? A general in Uganda is as a high leader as many others. He's one of the many because Uganda is not a country of one general. We have many generals, we have many other ranks of people, we have ministers, we have politicians. So. If General Sejusa as an individual says, I, 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 the Ugandans here are saying, we, we, and we. So Uganda cannot be scared by what he says. Because indeed, if he takes uh, the unconstitutional route, that is his own choice, but then he would have to face the resistance by all Ugandans as empowered by Article 3 of our Constitution. Right. Colonel Shaban Bankariza, thank you for taking time to talk to us on the program. Thank you. Let's now take